Hi there folks, today it's Wednesday the 20th of May 2020. The weather couldn't be better. Today myself and Annie are taking a short ride on the Bergman over to Bigby on Sea. So why not join us on this beautiful clear day? We'll be seeing some lovely country lanes, a tidal road, a tidal island and no doubt a bit of traffic now that lockdown has been eased. Over to the right you can see dark. The view is very clear today, considering it's about 30 miles away. We will be venturing over there again sometime soon. We're now dropping down towards Averton Giffen. Just crossing the River Avon. The first bridge here was built back in 1440. We'll take the first left here for the tidal road. This tidal road runs along for about three quarters of a mile. There are many signs warning drivers about the daily tides. Nevertheless, there have been many stranded vehicles over the years, having misjudged the tide times. The posts you can see are markers for the road. Some of the birds that can be seen here are herons, buzzards, mute swans, green shanks, little egrets, sandpipers, curlews and plovers, amongst many other species. There is an abundance of wildlife around here.
This road we're travelling up is Stakes Hill and it will take us to Bigbury Village. Tight squeeze here, often the case on these narrow lanes. Up to the right is the Oyster Shack, a fresh oyster restaurant. Some 30 years ago, the shack housed an oyster farm, and people would arrive, bring in their chairs and pack lunches, and buy their fresh mollusks. The restaurant is al fresco in summer, and cosy inside in the winter. If the tide is in, you can get to the shack, via the B3392 road from St Anne's Chapel. This is St Lawrence Church, Bigbury, built back in the 14th century. From the bay, it's used as a landmark for those out at sea. Bigbury Bay stretches from Stoke Point to Bolt Tail. First view of Bigbury Bay. This is Bigbury Village. The word bury is an old Anglo Saxon word for fort. We'll now head down to Bigbury on Sea. It's about a mile away. Here we have Bigbury Golf Club, and it's looking very busy today. We're now entering Big Brion Sea. What a lovely view of the bay. This gets extremely busy during the summer and it's exceptionally busy today. We'll just get parked up.
Well, there's Bear Island. It's a tidal island, 250 metres from the mainland. There are several buildings on the island, the largest being the Art Deco Burr Island Hotel, which was built in 1890 by a musical star who used it for parties. In the 1930s, it was refurbished in the Art Deco style. Notable past guests were Edward VIII and Wallace Simpson, Winston Churchill, The Beatles, Noel Coward, Agatha Christie, and the list goes on. Today you can hire the island and hotel for weddings and parties. Also, there are murder mystery weekends, plus many other functions. There is a pub on the island. Many years ago, fishermen occupied the island and fished for pilchards. So it's no surprise the pub's called the Pilchard Inn. The island is approachable on foot at low tide. At high tide, the sea tractor, which is operated by the hotel, transports passengers back and forth. The original vehicle was constructed in the 1930s. This is the third generation tractor and dates from 1969. The vehicle drives across the beach with its wheels underwater on the sandy bottom, while its driver and passengers sit on a platform high above. Power from a Fordson tractor engine is relayed to the wheels via hydraulic motors. I think the charge is about two pounds each way. Well, we've had a nice cup of coffee. We're back on the bike now, so we'll ride along the front and take in some more sea views. the home. So we'll take a different route home, we'll turn right here and go back on the A379, Plymouth to Kingsbury. Thanks for joining us again, we hope you enjoyed the ride, if so give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Bye for now.